everyone welcome to the vlog today is a bright sunny day finally but we are on the way to my grandparents house they're gonna watch Lacey for a little bit today while I can get some work done because this girl's very behind as you all well know we're in the car right now on the way to their house and I'm gonna drop her off and then take you along with my day huh? yeah it's oh the iPad needs to be charged are you gonna have a fun day with Grammy and Papa? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Look at baby troll. Oh my goodness, let's see him. Is that a baby troll? That's baby troll. What's his name? Um, Branch. Is it Branch? Yeah. You look so cute today, I love your outfit. You ready to go play? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, I made a mistake. <laughs> I just dropped off Lacey and I forgot her shoes, so. I am at home now, grabbing a little pair of shoes for her, and now I'm on the way back to my grandparents' house. <laughs> Thankfully, they just kind of live up the street from us. They literally live on the same street, but a few miles up the road, so it's not a big deal at all. So anyway, um, loading back in the car and on my way back. Also, coffee update. I'm almost done with this one, but I made this coffee in the French press as cold brew. This is like a game changer, you guys. Not even kidding. It's so smooth, but like there is so much caffeine, I can feel it. Like I can't even tell you the last time I actually felt something from caffeine, but today that all changed. And it's time to do something about these nails. I've been putting it off for way too long just because I didn't feel like doing them and they just keep breaking and looking terrible. So I just felt like doing my nails would be a waste of time but I am gonna put some gel polish on them just so that they stay a little bit harder and don't keep breaking. So that's the plan. I'm just going to give my nails a little TLC, watch some vlogs, and just hang out for a little bit before I go pick up Lacey. Every time I come downstairs, she does this. Are you bowing down to your master? Okay, so I got my nails done and they still look like poop, but they look like less poop. Something else, I found like this random stack of CDs and I really wanted to like listen to them in the car. But um, anyway, I just popped one in and I'm like dying already. It is so funny. I just took Daisy outside to go to the bathroom and I don't know if it's because we go out so late or what the deal is maybe it's just the type of backyard or back area we have but I have seen over the last two weeks this will be the second time now 
that I've seen what looks like a wolf. I know it's not a wolf, but it's a very big coyote or coyote that's back there. And uh, as soon as I saw it, I was walking Daisy and I snatched her right back up. I said, get inside, baby. Nothing happened. It's a really boring story. But the thing is, is that it's crazy to just be outside. Imagine if you're just in your backyard and it's not even 10 feet away. There's a coyote that just runs by chasing a rabbit, like right in front of you. It's kind of weird, especially yeah. when you've got and, you know, an unpredictable dog on a leash, like going everywhere. When I got my first cell phone, I was probably 13 or 14. And I'll never forget it too, because it wasn't a smartphone, it was a basic phone. But there was barely any minutes to call during the day. You had to really watch your minutes. And there was absolutely no texting when I got it, because our plan did have a small amount of text. But because it was so small, you only sent a text if it was like an emergency. And if you did that and you sent it to any of your friends, I remember that my parents were like, do not do this. We're going to get over to text messages. <laughs> and it was like, you could not text anybody. I'll never forget when we finally got unlimited text. It was amazing. But I was still, you know, T9 and it up on the basic phone. Oh my God, T9. I know, it was T9. I was a whiz kid at T9. He I really was doing was. the whole, I was doing the whole like no look T9 texting. I was amazing. Oh my God, he really was good. Um, I was really good. But anyway, so... I was, it was like 2003, 2004, smartphones hadn't even been existed, hadn't even been invented. I don't even think the iPhone came out until 2006 or something like that. It was, it was a phone that I was basically supposed to have when I rode my bike around the neighborhood or just to keep in touch and that was when I got it. And the thing is, is that I used it for a while, I thought it was cool, I, I'd call my parents when I get out or whatever, but a lot of the times it ended up in my bedroom, I never even took it with me because it, I didn't have anyone to call and I couldn't text, you can't do anything on it. So it just a lot of times it stayed in my bedroom, but um, it's so weird to think about that phone, T9, and the limits that you had on text messages because, I mean, we send hundreds of texts a day and we don't even think about it, you know, and back then it was like if you sent one, it was a big deal. Crazy how, how much things have changed in 10 years even. Okay, Google, when was the iPhone invented? iPhone was introduced in 2007. Oh, I was off by one year. I always wanted the LG chocolate. Oh, That's the one phone when I was a kid. I always wanted, all of my friends had that when I was in school and I was like, I want that phone, I want that phone. And I never could get it because I wasn't on Verizon the best. Mm. I was on Sprint. <laughs> hey guys, so it's the next day, but I wanted to do the shout out of the day real quick. I'm about to run out the door. But the shout out of the day goes to Jana Nickel. I hope I'm saying your name right. I like was sitting there trying to sound it out forever and making sure that it seemed right in my head. I think it's Jana, but I'm sorry if that's wrong. You're always leaving us such sweet comments and we just wanted to shout you out, girl. Say thanks for watching and the comments. I just thought it was so funny reminiscing on when we all got our first phones because now it's like our phones are just attached to us. We can't go anywhere without them. My parents would probably know the answer to this, but I think I got my first phone. I'm having such a hard time remembering. It was either eighth grade or freshman year, but I have to tell a funny story. So. One of the first times I ever talked to Brock was like accidentally, but my friend didn't have a phone yet and she was like, there's this new guy and I got his number and he's so cute and this and that, but I don't have a phone. Can I use yours? And I was like, yeah, sure. And that was like kind of back when it wasn't like your phone was attached to you. It was just kind of like, you know, if you had it, cool. If not, whatever, because not everyone had one yet. So I let her use my phone. And so she was talking to this new guy and of course, like at the end of the school day, she gave me my phone back. And so I got a phone call from someone and it was Brock. And um, I'm not gonna like say the person's name, but he was like, hey, so-and-so, I was just calling, hoping you could talk after school, whatever. Like she told him, she lied to Brock and told him that that was her phone when it was actually my phone. So I got the text afterwards and I was like, oh, that's weird. I didn't know who he was at all. Like we had mutual friends. Like, I could put a face to a name, but I had never talked to him myself. So that was kind of the first time I had ever heard from him was he was calling one of my friends on her phone which was actually my phone so obviously the number was saved in my phone but I was like dating somebody else at the time but I just thought it was interesting and then maybe like a month later him and I met and we were just like instantly attached at the hip and I kind of like 
kind of screwed one of my friends over, but she was like talking to two guys, so I didn't feel that bad. It was really funny because when we met the second time, we were getting each other's numbers, but I already had his number and he already had my number, but it was saved under someone else's name. But anyway, I just wanted to share that story. I thought it was really funny. So um, that's it for today's vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and thumbs up the video. And if you want to be notified every time we upload, make sure to click the bell next to the subscribe button and that will send you a notification so you don't miss any of our future vlogs. And we will see you guys tomorrow.